This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I change the default perspective AOV on ZBrush Start? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have the demo head loaded in here. And the question is asking about the AOV slider that lives under the draw palette. So if I navigate up to the draw palette up here and open this up, and I'm just going to click this button here to dock it to the side. And in the draw palette here, underneath this perspective window, you'll see there is this angle of view slider. Now, as long as you have perspective on and you come over here and change the slider, it's going to change the angle in which the model will be viewed at. So a larger angle here is going to give you more of a fisheye effect. And then a lower value is going to give you a flatter effect. So the question is asking about setting a default value. So when you launch ZBrush, let's say it always goes to a 90 angle of view. So how can you go by doing this? So one thing to note with this is that the angle of view will store with a ZBrush project file. So if you go up to file up here and now do a save as, now I'm just gonna save this project out as AOV 90. Now when you save this project file, it's going to remember the model you have loaded in here, and then additionally, it's going to store that angle of view. So as an example of this, if I go to Spotlight now and say load in the earthquake model here, this model will load in, and you're going to notice that the AOV is now going to change to 30. So this project here of earthquake has an angle of view of 30 stored with it. So if I go back to that demo head now, by going to File and now going to Open, now I'm just going to select that project file we just saved of the demo head and open that back up. You're going to see that once this loads, the angle view has been changed back to 90. So a ZPR file will save whatever angle view you have set. So in order to get ZBrush to start up with a default AOV value, we just have to have it automatically load a project file on launch. So to do this, we just need to record a simple Z script here. So I'm first going to navigate up the top here to the Z script area and open this up. And now I'm going to click the record button. Now, when you click the record button, you're going to get a little dialog that's going to pop up. And it's going to ask if you want to initialize ZBrush. We're just going to say no to this. And after we get through that dialog, we are now in record mode. So any buttons or processes we click on are going to be recorded inside of ZBrush here. So we just want to record that option of opening that project file of the demo head. So I'm going to go to the file menu again and now click on open. And I'm just going to select the file of the demo head that had that angle of view set to 90. And now click open. And you're just going to get the same result in ZBrush here. And now I'm going to go to ZScript and I'm going to click end record. So we have just successfully recorded that action of opening that file. And now we're just going to stop the recording. Now when you stop the recording, you're going to have to save this out. So I'm just going to go back to that folder and I'm just going to leave the name the way it is. And I'm just going to click save. So now ZBrush has taken that action of opening and it's stored that process into a text file. So I'm gonna navigate to that folder. And in this folder now we have that project file that we saved of the demo head. And then we have three files that were generated from that Zscript recording. So we want this text file here. And we're just gonna double click that and open it up. And in here you'll see some Zscript. And the line we're looking for is the one that contains this file open. So in here we have this right here. So this is telling ZBrush that this is the location of the file we want to open, and then we just want to open it. So we're going to copy that. So just right click and click copy. Now next we just need to navigate to our ZBrush Zscripts folder. And this is located at Pixelogic, your ZBrush 4R7 directory, and then the Zscripts directory. And in this directory here, you should have a default Zscript text file. And if we double click this to open up, this is what you should have in this default Z script. So you'll have a startup thing at the top here and then two brackets surrounding a PD. So we want to add some code here to allow ZBrush on launch to load that project file in. So I'm gonna just press enter twice and then I'm going to paste in that code we just copied. So that file name set next, the location of our project file, the demo head, and then the file open command. Now this command here cannot live on its own inside of Zscript. So we need to create a quick little if statement for this to live in in order for ZBrush to open this. So I'm gonna click right above that file next. I'm gonna do a bracket. I'm gonna type capital I F. I'm gonna hit a comma. I'm gonna do one and then comma again. And then I'm gonna go to the end of the open side here, add a new line, and then just do a comma and another bracket. 
So this has now created an if statement. So if one, we're now going to open that file. So the if one should always be true. So on ZBrush launch, it should always open this project file. And then we're just gonna simply save this out. So now we have stored our project file with that AOV setting that we want, and we have modified that default Z script. So now if we close ZBrush and relaunch, on launch, ZBrush should start up and it should automatically load in that project file. And if we navigate back to the draw menu up here, you'll see that that angle of view is set to 90. Now you can save a project file out with whatever you want. So if you have a file that's just the PolyMesh 3D star, or it has a whole bunch of tools already loaded in, all those can be saved into that ZPR file. And then you can have that set to open inside of that default Z script. So that is the process to allow you to set a specific angle of view. So when you launch ZBrush, it will always have that view set. If you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.